Sia 2 SeaWare's 2018 system is a polished and fine-tuned upgrade of our previous system, designed and customized to quickly and accurately achieve all AUVSI competition objectives. Some highlights of improvements over last year's system include a redesigned air delivery system, a new machine vision camera, and a new propulsion system that improves efficiency and enables longer test flights. Troy Joseph, Class of 2018, Flight Director, Co-Team Lead. Nikita Ormoshkin, Class of 2018, Safety Pilot, Co-Team Lead. Sitar Harrell, Class of 2019, Autopilot GCS Operator, Autopilot Lead. Sammy Mosley, Class of 2018, Vision GCS Operator and Manual Detection and Localization Tagger, Vision Lead. Ram Velanki, Class of 2019, Distributed Systems GCS Operator, Distributed Systems Lead. Katie Bradford, Class of 2020, Manager of Antenna Tracker, Catapult, Airdrop, Gimbal, and Communications System, Electrical Team Member. Yasmin Mushtaq, Class of 2018, Spotter, Mechanical Lead. Ben Sternklar Davis, Class of 2019, Manual Detection and Localization Tagger, Airframe Lead. Eric Landgrieb, Class of 2020, Obstacle Avoidance System Operator, Autopilot Team Member and Obstacle Avoidance System Developer. Chaska Yamane, Class of 2020, Manual Detection and Localization Tagger, Business Lead and Camera Expert. FIA's airframe was designed to balance fast flight that allows us to cover the waypoint path and search grid quickly, stability to ensure capture of high quality images, and maneuverability to ensure accurate waypoint capture. Additionally, the airframe was built to withstand the high shock forces associated with catapult assisted takeoff and belly landing. FIA 2 maintains a modular design with polystyrene foam core wings attached to a carbon fiber boom and a fuselage constructed of poplar, birch, and 3D printed parts. The detachable wings, tail, and fuselage allow for transportation to test flights, and the interchangeable nature of parts enables rapid repair in case of failures. Additionally, the detachable fuselage allows us to change payload weight and easily correct for the center of gravity with respect to the wings and tail. FIA 2's airdrop system was completely redesigned and drastically simplified to improve drop reliability. The new system uses a linear actuator to release a suspended bottle, leaving no chance that the bottle will get stuck. Thea 2's electrical system is an iterative development of last year's electrical platform. Three lithium polymer batteries provide power via a central custom power board, which then subsequently distributes it to various electrical subsystems. Communication is handled over 5.8 GHz Wi-Fi data link, a 900 MHz frequency hopping telemetry link, and a 433 MHz UHF RC backup link. On the tail end of the fuselage, a hardware gimbal system stabilizes our new machine vision camera, the IDSUI 3590LE. To accomplish the autonomous flight and waypoint objectives, we've utilized the Ardu Plane fixed wing autopilot running on the Pixhawk 1 flight controller. In addition to an internal IMU and compass, the Pixhawk is connected to a number of peripheral sensors including an airspeed sensor and a 3DR GPS. For controlling the aircraft, we've built a web-based ground station on top of the popular MOF proxy platform using cutting-edge web technologies. This year, we have completely revamped our obstacle avoidance system. We have moved from a fully autonomous system with limited use cases to a system that focuses more on using computational power to predict obstacle motion, obstacle path period, plane motion, and path following to provide advanced predictive power for human-aided path replanning. To operate our camera and air delivery electronics, as well as detect, classify, and locate objects and images, SeaWare has implemented a distributed system of servers on the ground and on the plane that communicate over HTTP. On the plane, an Odroid XU4 runs servers to control the orientation of our gimbal and autonomously compute when to drop the water bottle. On the ground, multiple web clients download images from the plane, and a UI allows team members to identify objects in photos, record characteristics, merge multiple sightings of the same object, and submit intel to the interop server. Images are additionally passed through our automatic detection and classification system. The system locates regions of interest using the SURF algorithm, 
The object is segmented out of the region, and its shape, alphanumeric character, color, and orientation are classified using our proprietary classifiers. Finally, Thea 2 features a dashboard for judges and spectators to view the real-time status and mission performance of the system while in flight. The CUAIR team is confident in the ability of the Thea 2 system to complete all mission objectives. The Thea 2 system has been flown in 15 full mission tests and has reliably and accurately completed the waypoint navigation, obstacle avoidance, air delivery, and object detection, classification, and localization tasks. Developmental testing is a vital part of Seaware's design process to ensure safety and confirm that all components work according to specification. Before integration, all hardware systems are load tested to ensure sufficient strength, and all software is unit tested and code reviewed. All subsystems are rigorously tested on the ground with a flight simulator, tested in our lightweight BIX3 airframe, and finally tested in numerous test flights. During this process, all systems are measured to ensure they work correctly and their performance meets expectations. Thea 2's autopilot firmware requires an involved tuning process to fly with optimal maneuverability and safety. We first tuned our PID stabilization algorithms through rapid in-flight movements. We then configured the longitudinal and latitudinal control algorithms through throttle and airspeed measurements. Finally, we configured the catapult launched autonomous takeoff and autonomous belly landing. Since the team is using the same airframe as last year, we built on over 500 minutes of autonomous flight in 2017 to total 100 minutes of tuning time, 60% of which was in manual or pilot assistant modes, and 600 minutes of additional flight time, only 10% of which was in pilot assistant modes. The Seaware team has developed a custom waypoint navigation algorithm on top of the ArduPilot firmware that uses cubic Bezier splines to anticipate upcoming turns. This new system was tested first in flight simulators, then in the BIX-3, and finally in Thea 2. Thea 2 has flown 18 flights using the new navigation system, attempting over 2300 waypoints. Thea has an average miss rate of 13 feet, hitting over 2000 waypoints within the 100 foot threshold. Thea 2's new and improved obstacle avoidance system has been used on a total of 6 flight hours on 17 different flights. As with the waypoint navigation algorithm, the obstacle avoidance system was tested in both a flight simulator and on the BIX-3 before integration into Thea 2. On Thea 2, we tested the obstacle avoidance system on a total of 84 static obstacles, with 79 avoided, and tested on a total of 35 moving obstacles, with 31 avoided. In these flights, the obstacle avoidance system has conducted 38 successful flight path rerouting events. After simulating the same flight with last year's obstacle avoidance system, the new system prevented 32 unnecessary waypoint routing events. All captured images have a resolution of 18 megapixels, and images are sampled at a rate of one image per second to ensure a full coverage of the field along the flight path. While flying at 90 meters, we can cover an area of 16 square meters per second, covering the entire field in about five and a half minutes. Each target of size one square meter has a resolution of 5,000 square pixels in the image. Seaware employs a number of techniques to ensure the best possible image quality. First, the team mounted the camera with vibration dampening screws to minimize high-speed vibrations that result in rolling shutter effect. The team also customized camera settings, fixing shutter speed and ISO to eliminate motion blur and minimize noise. Post-processing techniques on the ground allow operators to adjust contrast and saturation of photos during classification, providing better distinction between colors and images. Our autonomous detection system has robust performance on high-quality images and often performs as well as human taggers. Testing on data collected from several competitions and test flights on campus, the detection system currently has a precision of 98% and a recall of 30%. The alphanumeric classifier currently runs at 70% accuracy. The shape classifier currently runs at 70% accuracy. The color classifier currently runs at 93% accuracy. We have tested our localization system on 90 hand-tagged objects from over 15 test flights. A phone GPS was used to determine the object's true location. Latitude and longitude values from our geotag algorithm had a mean error of 17 feet from the target's true location and a standard deviation error of 22 feet. The air delivery system has been tested at Cornell's drop tower 4 times and on the aircraft 15 times. From both the drop tower and the aircraft, the payload opened and dispersed water 100% of the time. The 
payload landed an average distance of 5 feet from the target spot in the drop tower, and consistently within 60 feet from the target during full mission tests. The team proceeded to employ full mission tests to assess the performance of the integrated Thea 2 system at achieving each of the mission objectives. Waypoint navigation and autonomous flight were achieved reliably, as they were in developmental testing. Since mock payloads were used in developmental testing, there were few aerodynamic changes to the integrated system, and thus no corrective action was required. Thea 2 was able to consistently fly last year's competition waypoints transposed over a local airfield. The obstacle avoidance system was tested alongside the flight navigation system to ensure reliability and safety. The team tested against a number of stationary obstacles and moving obstacles with both competition style waypoint paths and search area surveillance style patterns. Since the system is constrained to only create paths it is sure are safe for the plane to fly, after initial full mission tests, we added the ability for the ground station operator to make real-time changes to ensure all paths are optimal. Air delivery was found to drop reliably in repeated testing from the plane on both grass and pavement. Both the autonomous system and manual override dropped consistently. Object detection, localization, and classification was also performed in all full mission tests. Over 200 different combinations of alphanumerics, shapes, and colors were tested against on both grass and pavement. Since we upgraded to a new camera, several flights were required to tune our camera settings to capture the clearest possible images. Once the images were clear, we had no issues with the software pipeline to download, tag, and submit objects. After over 15 full mission tests, the Thea 2 system has been shown to work together reliably. SeaWare conducted 10 full mission tests. These flights were graded against the rubric provided in the mission demonstration portion of the rules to assess the team's performance. For the timeline task, the team scored an average of 65% of points, taking on average 6 minutes and 40 seconds to set up, 22 minutes of mission time, 1 minute of post-processing time, and no timeouts. The team expects a slightly longer mission time at competition due to the larger search area, but does not expect to require post-processing time due to improved personnel training. For the autonomous flight task, SeaWare attempted to fly last year's competition waypoints transposed over our local airfield. On this task, the team scored an average of 95% of total points, with all flights completed fully autonomously. Thea 2 achieved all waypoints within 150 feet and hit waypoints with an average accuracy of 13 feet. The team expects to achieve similar performance in competition. SeaWare scored an average of 83% of points on the obstacle avoidance task. In every flight, the team tested against two of each type of obstacle. Thea 2 successfully avoided all stationary obstacles, and often avoided all moving obstacles, scoring on average 80% of moving obstacle points. In competition, the team expects to avoid all stationary obstacles, and hopes the large airfield will provide more room for maneuvering around the moving obstacles. SeaWare tested against five standard objects in each flight. On average, the team achieved 73% of the object detection, classification, and localization task points. The team recognized nearly all of the characteristics, occasionally missing shape color. On average, the team achieved 98% of characteristic points, and the team was able to geolocate objects on average within 17 feet. The team averaged 80% of points for actionable intelligence and 15% of points for autonomy. SeaWare expects similar performance in competition, with the exception of actionable intelligence, which the team expects to achieve full points due to improved training. For air delivery, SeaWare dropped an average of 15 feet from the target, scoring 90% of possible points. The team expects similar performance at competition. After completing these 10 full mission tests, SeaWare has demonstrated it can operate safely and professionally during the competition mission. The team hopes to achieve full marks for operational excellence. The average overall score for all mission tests was 78%, and SeaWare expects to score approximately 80% of total mission points at competition.